Delhi Six is very personal to me. There are like so many wounds in in the society today. Uh, we want Delhi Six to be like a soothing balm. And he woke me up and he said he just had a dream and he got the tune. And the tune came in the dream. I don't even know if I've ever used the word "I" with him. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends, how about finding a top dig? A wow factor in this episode. Do watch it till the end to grab this harmonic moment of the day. After Ax in 2001. And Rang De Basanti in 2006, the third film directed by Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra was Delhi Six. It's about Indians in the 21st century. It's also about non-resident Indians searching their roots. Released in 2009, a sensitive portrayal of the times we live in, set to touch a raw nerve. The film's music had to stitch its layered narrative together. The sound of Delhi Six is like the sound of Delhi Six. It's not the music of Delhi Six. It's not the background. It's the sound of Indian cinema, which also has a genda full. It's got a kawali in Arzia. It's got a romantic uh, uh, ballad in Rena Tu, which is again a comment. It's got this freaked out number called Masakali, which is about a girl's liberation. I saw my sister, my cousin sisters, the girls of Old Delhi, being subjected to. uh uh gender biases the kind of freedom their brothers had they never had they were not even allowed to wear what they would love to wear and uh yeah history keeps repeating itself you see delhi six is very personal to me it it was vignettes of my growing up here uh Vaida ji was playing my mother's namesake Annapurna my mother in her last years wanted to go back to old delhi where she was born and brought up so the fish wanted to return to the water the character is called roshan mehra he kind of shared my initials a hindu father and a muslim mother so he was a perfect example of this secular nation but things were going wrong and lot of us feel like that and that expression had to come out so we built this fable called delhi six if we stop judging people for what they wear for what their religion is for what they eat and uh, respect them for whom they are was what delhi six was delhi six the film's title represents the pin code for old delhi the area around chandni chowk and the red fort this is where rakesh om prakash mehra grew up He presents this living breathing city with an absolute passion capturing its essence and soul through its sights sounds smells and expressions It's a very a peculiar place uh, old delhi where i grew up in so maybe my brief to ar rahman was you know ar uh, you take a left into chandni chowk and there is a old shiva temple there 800 years old and diagonally opposite is a methodist church and next to the church is a cinema which has a poster of the latest blockbuster diagonally opposite that is shish ganj gurdwara bang opposite shish ganj gurdwara is the famous old delhi eatery called haldiram the first haldiram mr haldiram used to sit there and fry samosas just before haldiram is mcdonalds At the end of the street is the Fatehpuri Masjid. I still remember in the mosque because growing up in Delhi, six, छोटी-छोटी गलियाँ होती हैं, you have no space 
in the afternoon, the Malvi used to allow us to play cricket inside. In the, in the big agan, in the fountain thing. And he was very happy. Irrespective of whom you are, what religion you come from, the kids were enjoying. Now, when you turn around, what do you see? You see the tricolor flying on red fort. That is, was my conversation with AR. And I told him, I've grown, grown up here, which is like a melting pot of cultures. But at a drop of a hat, the Fataks would shut down when there was this fear of ethnic hatred. So I wanted to capture that. Rakeshji, to capture that character of old Delhi and its soul, what kind of discussions you had with Mr. Rahman? I mean, what was the process? Our process has been um, uh, extremely enjoyable, very exciting, very challenging. Um, more than, I have never discussed a song situation with him. I've uh, always spoken about uh, the story you want to tell. And through the story, what's, what is we are trying to achieve? And uh, it's not just a film for us. It's, uh, it's a part of your life, your living. And this journey, the musical journey, which is such a huge part of the film, not just the songs, the background, uh, uh, the storytelling, the thoughts, the ideas, uh, the scripting. One day late at night, we are speaking. And I'm saying there are like so many wounds in, in the society today. Uh, we want Delhi Six to be like a soothing balm. And I, I think that's what I heard him say also. And so we, we speak more about people and their pain. We speak more about uh, divisions within divisions. Uh, which we have, you know, in the name of caste, in the name of religion, in the name of uh, between the rich and the poor, the haves and the haves not. And then he goes into a zone, uh, in, into a zone, and uh, what does his fingers do, and what comes out is a song like Rehna Tu, Hai Jaisa Tu. And he just compose, composed that at the spur of the moment. Started talking about the wounds and how this film should be like a soothing balm on the open wounds. And he kept playing something and listening. And we were talking. And I was talking about this intolerance about somebody else's beliefs and religion. And he kept playing. And he kept talking and he kept playing. And we had, when we had the song, I have no clue. When it was ready, uh, when it got composed, it just happened during that conversation. It was not like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I've got an idea, let me play this. None of that. I understand you had finished recording and then you saw some notes by the lyricist Mr. Prasoon Joshi and you insisted that those scribbled notes to be included in the song and re-recorded the song. What was it? Prasoon is such a natural. He, he uh, A, he was completely in tune with me and to what I was trying to say. There was huge intensity in, in our work. To... Uh, the tune was so beautiful and he know the, knew the thought of the film, he jotted it down and he gave me the pieces of paper and then AR sang it and uh, I uh, normally I step out of the room when the singer is singing because I want to come back with a fresh ear to feel it because then you get caught in the process. So, uh, air, song is done, air is called, I said, so fast, wow, like half an hour he's finished the song, uh, amazing. But that was the first draft, obviously you work harder. I heard the song 
and I said, hey, where is that uh, uh, do hat saath ho to matlab ek daya hoga, ek baya hoga tham le. That is my song. Because there is, when two hands have to hold each other, one is a left hand and one is a right hand. And person, you've written it so well and that's the line you've taken out of your song. Why? No, it was long. I said, it's not long, it's not long, it's not long. Please, thumb, le, hand, thumb, le. Now. And that's what we, uh, we brought it back and uh, told AR about it. He said, yeah, man, that's uh, like, wow. That is the thought and how beautifully he sang. Arzia, how did this brilliantly written Kavali take shape? We all bow down uh, to the light above. And, and you know, which, which, uh, which gives us the energy to like live this life. And yet, I, I feel there are uh, so many uh, misgivings in me, myself. I'm so incomplete as a person. Uh, so, I, I, let's do a song around that. And we would go through the entire album and I would keep repeating my request. Uh, and we were, we were calling that song, Mora Piya Ghar Aya, that I've come back home. <coughs> and then, uh, I think it was almost after a year or maybe a little more than that. Early morning, uh, I distinctively remember it must be around 4.35 in the morning and I, I had fallen asleep on his uh, sofa set in Chennai in the studio and he woke me up and he said he just had a dream and he got the tune and the tune came in the dream and he had jammed on the piano for 37 minutes and in that, he said, there is a tune somewhere here, do you want to hear it out? And I somewhere found a refrain and I said, was this in your dream? He said, bang on. <laughs> and that song became Arzia. Mola, 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 Mere Mola. This was composition. So, he told me that you have a little bit of a heavy voice and lose it. Mola, 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 Mere Mola Mola, 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 Mola I said it like this, it heavy voice So it was so much fun to Rakesh Sir that he said that he was Javed to sing this song Mola, Mola एक तरीके से एक दरख्वास्त कर रहे हैं, अर्जियां कर रहे हैं कि दरारे दरारे हैं माथे पे मौला, मरम्मत मुखदर की, तो एक ये जो अल्फाजों के साथ जो वो जो ट्यून को जो पिरोया है ना रहमान सर ने, कहते हैं ना एक बंदा बैठा हुआ है और उसे बातें कर रहा है कि ना मेरी ये चीजें पूरी कर दे, आने के
Nakesh ji to get songs like Rehna Tu and Mola Mere Mola how important it is for directors to not only share the script with the composer but also express their convictions even anxieties and fears so that the composer understands the intent gets into the soul of the film and like how did you go about it with Mr Rehman I I you know um I I can't talk about directors I I can only talk about myself here my trust in Rehman was complete not because he's going to give, give me a great song but as a human being I could be extremely vulnerable with him you know I could reveal all my weaknesses but also all my aspirations at the same time uh there was never a veil where or a mask of a director behind which i was hiding i could never do that with him uh and i would never do that with him and i cannot do that with him because uh uh the purity uh, of what i was getting in return only purified me much more so one could not say you know i have this idea and i want to say this i am the director i don't even know if i've ever used the word i with him mola 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 mere mola 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 dil gira daftar possibly the most unusual dream song sequence ever in hindi cinema and how rehman presented shreya ghoshal singing with ustad bade ghulam ali khan who had passed away in 1968 with many untold stories in our next episode rakesh om prakash mehra will be back stay with us it must be around 4:35 in the morning and he woke me up and he said he just had a dream and he got the tune and the tune came in the dream and he had jammed on the piano for 37 minutes and in that he said there is a tune somewhere here you want to hear it out and i somewhere found a refrain and i said was this in your dream he said bang on <laughs> and that song became arzia do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day is your choice different whatever your mind says write it in the comment section below we will be waiting Subscribe to our YouTube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained